Ciao, be la grazie. Hello, everybody. James Charles here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am very excited because we are heading over to Europe for an Italian summer, baby. We are doing another episode of a full face of makeup from insert country name here. And today's episode is going to be Italy, which I am very, very excited for. We previously tried a full face of makeup from Hong Kong. We tried a full face from Korea. I also did a full face of Indian makeup on my Instagram. Would love to do that for a YouTube video as well. But now in today's episode, we are doing a full face of makeup from Italia! Now, I am very excited for this video today because this has actually been in the making for more than a year. If you guys remember, back on my Instagram, I actually went to Italy for the first time ever last year and had the most beautiful vacation in Milan and Lake Como. And while I was there, I did do some makeup shopping, but I was only able to grab a couple of things. And luckily, one of my team members also happened to be in Italy last week and he brought home a full bag of Italian makeup. So I'm really hoping my isn't expired, but <laughs> I'm gonna use it anyway because hopefully over the last year and a half, we have compiled a full face worth of makeup actually from Italy. So let's get right to this makeup routine today, talk about my travels, my trips, and Italian glam. Ciao, bella. I'm gonna look bella by the end of this video. Let's get this started. <laughs> All right, if you guys are excited for today's YouTube video, por favor, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up down below. Your love and support really helps out the channel quite a lot, and it will mean the world to me to have you come and join the family. Let's get right into this. Now, for today's video, we do have a couple of different brands to choose from. However, like I said, we did do some shopping in person, and then we did try to order a bunch of things online. But interestingly enough, we can only find like four brands that would ship to America. I don't know why, not really sure what's going on there. We're gonna get started with this Kiko Milano Prime and Fix Refreshing Mist. Okay, now when I was in Italy last year, Kiko is actually the store that I bought my full makeup routine from. It seems that like Kiko is one of the biggest brands over there, so definitely say to use a lot of products from the brand today to see what an Italian makeup routine actually looks like. Now, for foundation, we have two different options. We have Kiko Milano Liquid Skin, and we have Pupa, or Pupa, it's P-U-P-A is the brand name. It has to be Pupa. And this is called the Like a Doll Foundation. And if you know me, okay, I mean Like a Doll, hello. Could anything be more on brand for me? Thank you. This foundation is $30, by the way. So this is certainly not giving like drugstore cheap prices at all. The Kiko one is a lot more affordable. Kiko is kind of like a higher end drugstore brand from what I have been able to figure out. Maybe I'll mix in a little bit of the Kiko foundation as well, just to see. I'm gonna squirt it out onto my little mixing palette here because I'm gonna try to dip into my pinked sponge. My face looks crazy right now. Oh, wow, definitely has some really good coverage. Holy shit. It definitely is a little bit light for me, but I think I will be able to make it work with some bronzer and contour later on, hopefully, because <laughs> this is a little ghostly. I mean, it looks pretty nice, to be honest. It's going on nicely on the skin. Obviously, the color is a little bit off, but that's my fault, neither one of the brands. I did use both foundations for a little bit of a mixy mixy, and they look pretty nice together. Let's add on some cream bronzer because I'm looking a little bit spooky. This one is called Sun Keeper Liquid Bronzer from the brand Y. Con Cosmetics. Now this is an Italian brand. I got the shade Peanut and this is Terra Liquida liquid bronzer. And this liquid bronzer is $13. So definitely not bad. Now let me see what the actual consistency. Oh. Packaging, all the packaging is really cute. I love this fun little like pink and yellow ombre. It's really giving. Like this is very cute and everything from the brand is this kind of like similar packaging vibes. It's cute. It's really nice. Honestly, this looks like a little squirt of my Create paint. So let's see what this actually gives on the skin. Oh, this does not have a lot of pigment to it. Whoa. Hello? I'm gonna literally squirt some like right onto my face because this is looking like a little crazy. Let's see. Now if I blend this out with like a brush, is that gonna be better instead? Oh, you know what? Honestly, yeah. Yeah, I think that using a brush is actually gonna be a little bit better for this product to get more pigmentation. Let's try the jawline. Oh, yeah, okay, that's working. <laughs> there we go. Oh, good God. Now, as I was saying earlier, I have been to Italy once, so I will tell you guys a little bit about my fun little travels. My trip was actually for business purposes, but we did extend it a little bit and go to Lake Como, which was super, super fun. We landed in Switzerland, actually, and then drove down to Como, which was really, really cool. And being in Lake Como for a couple of days was a dream come true. Now, I will be honest and say, it was not my favorite trip that I've ever been on. A lot of times, like, tourist towns 
are one central town with all like the tourist attractions like surrounding it. Whereas Lake Como is one central tourist attraction, obviously the lake and like the town spread out around the entire gigantic lake. We thought that we'd be able to Uber, no problem. Nope, no Ubers. We basically like were kind of like stuck at this hotel the entire time, unless we wanted to pay several hundred dollars for boat taxis to and from different areas of the lake. For me personally, Personally, my personal opinion. That's my opinion! On a vacation, I'm not much of the relaxation type. I know that a lot of people are, okay, but that is not me. I like to wake up early and I like to experience every single thing that that place has to offer from tourist attractions to different restaurants, to local foods, to desserts, to fun little excursions as well. So just like laying by the lake, not really my vibe. Not my vibe, it was beautiful. It was so beautiful. I'm very grateful that I got to go, but I don't know if I would go back, at least not anytime soon. By the way, during that process, I finished up my bronzer and I also used the Wicon Cherry Cheeks Cream Blush, which looks really beautiful. This is $14 and it was really pigmented. I had to sheer the living fuck out of it using this lab sample painted sponge and I think it's looking pretty good. Let's do some concealer. For concealer, we have two different options today. Another one from Wicon. This is called Bright Cover. Once again, really cute cute packaging, like this little 3DW. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be really fucking bright for me. Um, and then I also have this little tiny pop concealer from Kiko that claims to be a full coverage concealer. I don't know like how much this one's really gonna do. I feel like honestly, might as well just use both. It's full face of Italian makeup. Might as well go crazy. And I'm gonna dip into the Kiko one first because this claims to be super full coverage. So let's put that to the test. Gonna put this on my beard area. Be right in like the middle of the forehead. Gonna put this on the sides of my nose to avoid any crusting or separation. That didn't really do a lot of anything to be honest. Let's try this bright, oh, good fucking God. Okay, bright it is. That's literally almost white. <laughs> Selecting a shade can already be hard for people to do like in person looking at the actual tube. Why did brands have to make it so hard to find your right color even online? It's never accurate. With the texture of this concealer, I guarantee you right now, I'm gonna blend this out using this little sponge here and this is gonna completely disappear. Yep, look at that. Literally no fucking coverage at all. Like this just has literally no coverage. My face, despite the fact that I did all that work with the cream bronzer and cream blush, like it just looks flat. It's not giving. I'm gonna set this in place using this powder and this is Peach Rose Unlimited Long Lasting Matte Loose Powder. Let's see. Oh my God, this powder has fucking shimmer in it. Ah! Oh, why do people do this? Okay, this is gonna look like fucking garbage. Here we go. Oh, maybe I lied, maybe it doesn't have shimmer. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Kiko. Let's take a look at what we have next. I need to do, I need to like add some things to my face because this still feels really flat. You know what? I just found a foundation powder and contour and blush. Hold on, let's try this foundation powder and see if I can like add some coverage to my face that is clearly flopping a little bit. Oh, you know what? <gasps> that looks very nice. Like I said, I was in Lake Como for my first half of the trip, but the second half was to Milano, which was really fun because I was actually there only for two days. I would love to go back, but to meet with one of the biggest makeup manufacturers in the world. Italy is known for their makeup manufacturing. They have incredible labs and incredible formulas over there, especially when it comes to a lot of powder products. So I wanted to meet with a big lab over there to potentially discuss working on some future painted products together. And it was really cool just to get to walk around and see the different brands that they manufacture for, which is literally like every big brand on planet earth that you've ever heard of. It was a very cool presentation and just a very cool like trip in general. I wish that I had more time in Milan because literally all I got to do there was that makeup meeting and then like go to the beautiful shopping mall that has like the crazy glass cathedral ceiling. Love that. Took some very cute Instagram photos that day as well. I would love to go back to Milan because I didn't see nearly as much as I would have liked to. Let's add a little bit more to this contour here and see if this is gonna do anything. Oh, that's pretty at least. I was gonna say, it's pretty disappointing that Italy is like known for their makeup manufacturing and the brands that I have tried so far have not been <laughs> the best. <laughs> Lastly, we'll add a little bit of blush on top. <gasps> that looks nice. Okay, we may have been able to save this because this is looking slightly better. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. We're gonna do some eyebrows, but first I'm gonna do a little bit of spritz of the setting spray just because I have used a lot of powder. Okay. Come a little closer, come a little closer, baby, baby. I wanna try to figure out what we can do for eyebrows here because upon doing some research, big bushy brows are very popular in Italy. They're not super defined, they're not super cut. It's a lot of like natural girlies with thick brows and I really love that vibe. Um, it's not really what I go for frequently, but for the sake of today's video, might as well try it out. So I do have three brow products. I have a brow marker from Kiko 
a brow pencil from Poopa, and then a Kiko Eyebrow Designer Gel Mascara. Poopa is $23.99. Whoa, holy shit, that's an expensive eyebrow pencil. I literally just tweezed and razored my brows yesterday. So if I knew that I was supposed to be going for a bushy brow look today, maybe I wouldn't have. Um, but everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> everybody has those days. Normally I would like draw my whole little line here. I would do my tail, but I'm just gonna basically do like little hair like strokes just to kind of fill in the brow and make it a little bit thicker. Hello, I just did that so lazily and that looks so nice. Hello, what is going on? Uh, honestly, the brows are looking really good. Okay, I'm just gonna, oh my God. Wait, this fucking Kiko brow marker is thick as fuck. Oh my literal God, what the hell on planet earth is, I need like a tiny little brow flick. This is literally like a fucking Sharpie washable school marker. I hate this marker. That's the worst eyebrow marker that I've maybe ever used. That fucking sucks. Okay, let's use this little brow gel to see if this is gonna keep the hairs in place. I tried to do bushy brows and I ended up with the same fucking eyebrows that I do every single video. Sorry. <laughs> Those eyebrows are gonna have to be good enough because it's not gonna get any better than that, unfortunately for me. All right, so for the eyes today, I purchased this almost two years ago now. And <laughs> forgot about it. I don't know what got through me to buy an all metallics palette. This is literally all shimmer shades. So I, <laughs> this is not good. I'm a little bit stuck for the look, but I'm gonna try to do something fun here. I'm gonna do a fun look inspired by my trip to Lake Como with some nice little blues. I have this shimmer and I also have this beautiful blue glitter. I think that I wanna do like a smoky little blue glittery liner look. Colorful. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's see. I'm just gonna grab this like black little glitter shimmer shade right here on a flat brush. Oh my God, this glitter is gonna get everywhere too. I'm just gonna line my lash line with this. Now, as I said, during my travels, I did go to Como and Milan. However, there are a lot of places in Italy that I would like to go and Unfortunately, I did actually have a trip to Bologna planned for this year because there's a makeup convention called Cosmoprof, which is actually the reason why I was in Hong Kong last year for the full face of Hong Kong makeup. And the makeup convention moves around to different places, Bologna being the biggest one. I had three friends in a row all cancel on me for the trip. Something was in the universe telling me that I should not have been there. And although I wanted to attend, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that as a sign. It was very suspicious and weird, but I would like to go back. I really would. I really wanna go to Rome simply because it is beautiful. And although I don't give a fuck about American history, Roman history, European history, Sign me up, girl, all day long. And I need to make a wish into the Lizzie McGuire fountain. I do. I need to live my Lizzie McGuire fantasy on a Vespa, driving around, with a hot Italian man. I do, I do. I will do it before I die. I, I simply must. I'm gonna grab this little blue shade and we're gonna use this to kind of like smoke it out a little bit and then I'm gonna add a little glitter on top. I don't know what this is gonna do. This could be really ugly. Okay, I'm, I don't have a lot to work with here, people. I'm trying my best. Oh, you know what? That's like kind of pretty. Okay, I may have eaten a little bit, I fear. <gasps> Speaking of, oh, thank you. It's no secret that the food quality in America is absolute fucking garbage. They are feeding us literal chemicals. And you know what? I'm gonna eat it up every single time. I have to be real, okay? <laughs> I did. <laughs> you know me, okay? I do love fast food. I do love going out to eat, okay? You guys like a chemical. I do like a chemical, a nice GMO, okay? Some high fructose corn syrup and some food dyes that will kill me probably earlier than I should. It's fine, it's fine. However, being in Europe and actually experiencing what like real <laughs> good quality food tastes like was mind boggling. It was shocking. I'm also severely lactose intolerant as well. And the entire time I was there, I brought my lactate pills and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna suck it up because I would love nothing more than to have Italian pasta, some real Italian cheese, and just like enjoy this whole experience. Not once, not once did I have explosive diarrhea. Not once was my stomach fucked up. Not once was I farting up a storm the entire day. I was perfectly fine. I lost weight being on that trip and I probably ate more carbs than I ever have in my entire life. I'm a whore for a carb. I love a pasta. I love a bread, okay? Garlic bread and meat, ooh, we go together real bad. Real bad. Love a pizza. Everything Italian is like my absolute favorite foods and eating it for a week straight was truly a pleasure. Just going for like this little smoky blue whore on the street liner look. Now I'm gonna add some little glitter. I'm just gonna put this like right here. I literally hate that. That looks like shit. I've ruined it all. Ew, you guys, this is ugly. It's fucking ugly. I did a bad job. <laughs> oh my God. Italians everywhere are gonna hate me. Okay, I'm just gonna use this little black eyeliner pen just to line my lash line here. Ooh, you know what? This is a really great quality eyeliner pen. I gotta be real. That's great. Okay. And I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that black and just blend out that liner. This eyeshadow look is so ugly. I'm sorry, you guys. You have to forgive me. This does not represent my feelings about Italy. 
It's just ugly. I look ugly. <laughs> oh my God. There's nothing I can do about it now. It's a 24 hour disease. Hopefully a cure will be tomorrow. What are the symptoms? Ugly. That's it. That's the only symptom. Oh, look, it's time to kill myself. Why did that eyeliner literally just fucking travel halfway across my forehead? <sighs> okay, we're almost done. Let's curl the lashes. And then we're gonna use this extra sculpt waterproof mascara. Ew, this wand? What the fuck? Dude, I, this wand shape sucks. Oh my God, and this mascara sucks too. You know what's crazy? If you literally go in your makeup collection and look at your favorite products, especially powders, I guarantee you half of them, if not more than half, will say made in Italy. Guarantee you. Italy is the makeup capital of the world. They make some of the best makeup products on planet earth. I'm curious to know why none of these brands have them. Conspiracy theory. Lip liner, Smart Fusion Lip Pencil. This shade looked okay. Oh, it looks like it's going to be. Thank God. I could use something positive right now. <laughs> My spirits are low. You know what? This lip liner pencil is great. Do they have Sephora in Italy? Bro. They do have Sephora in Italy. Bro, That's where the bitches are getting their makeup from. Whenever I do these videos, I want to like make the country proud and like show my love and support and do my research and stuff like that. And I feel like I'm letting the Italian girlies down with this awful makeup look and these awful products. But then I was thinking to myself, they fully have support in Italy. So the Italian girlies, I guarantee you, and I could be wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments. I feel like the Italian girlies are not buying these shit products. They're buying a lot of like the American brands that are popular in Sephora, who happen to be manufacturing in Italy. That's just like a nice coincidence. You know what I mean? We're gonna put on this lipstick over top. That's a nice color. I like that. The formula also feels really great too. And I, last but not least, I have this Poopa Gloss, Miss Poopa Gloss. Mm. <gasps> that tastes good. Mm. <gasps> Love that. Let's set this shit in place and call it a day here for a full face of my Italian makeup. Okay. Oh my God, I for nope, I forgot my little blinding light liquid highlighter. It definitely would have been better if I fucking forgot it. Hey Siri, mm -hmm. how do you say I'm sorry in Italian? In Italian, I'm sorry is, mi dispiace. Mi dispiace, Italian sisters. If you're an Italian girly and you're disappointed by the end result of this, just know that I am too, okay? Like I said, Italy is literally the makeup capital of the world. Some of the best factories, the best manufacturers are all located over in Italy. So I truly had such high hopes for today's video. I don't know what happened. Obviously, I will take part of the blame. My makeup skills today were simply not the best that they've ever been. And also, I did go shopping for half of these products. Granted, it was like over a year ago now, so I don't know what got into me. I clearly forgot. We tried to order a bunch of stuff online. A lot of brands didn't even ship here. This video was a bit of a mess. And I do apologize for that because when we go into these makeup routines, especially from other cultures, I do always want to do my best job at being respectful, doing my research, testing out small brands, locally owned brands to really give a shout out to different cultures and different ways of doing makeup. But it feels as though I have failed you a little bit in today's video. And maybe this is like a learning lesson because I definitely want to continue doing this series of full face of makeup from insert country name here. I definitely I want to do Brazil. I want to do Mexico. There's a couple of other places in Europe that I would love to shop from as well. Leave me some comments, suggestions, countries, brands down below. And I honestly am going to take some time to read through because I love this series. It's been really fun so far and I want it to keep going and I don't want it to flop. And I feel like this video is a little bit of a flop. So we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it moving forward. That being said, if you did enjoy today, please give it a thumbs up down below. I would really love and appreciate it. And if you have not already, don't forget to click that big red subscribe button right down there so you can join the family every single time that I upload a brand new video. If you want to follow me on my socials, my Instagram and TikTok are just James Charles. And of course, follow my brand Painted at Painted.co. Also, okay, fun little bonus clip for you guys, just because I do feel like I flopped and owe you something fun and extra here. I have to film something else after this and I was supposed to keep this makeup on, but I do not like it. So it's coming off. I happened to order a Italian makeup melting balm remover. <laughs> Woo! Cheer, please. Thank you. Yay. Um, might as well try it and show you guys the makeup removal process to make this video a little bit more fun, shall we? Okay, this is what it looks like. It does look like Kylie Cosmetics. It's from Wicon. It's called Melting Butter Cleansing Balm. Burro Strucante. Makeup removal butter. I guess you're supposed to just like rub this on your face. Ooh, that is doing a nice job. Okay, let's do the eyes. This is where it gets gross. Ooh, let's see. Let's get rid of the brows. Let's do the forehead foundation. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah! That did come off very easily though. Wow, that really melted it down. That honestly could be a sleigh. That shit worked real fucking nice. Okay. <laughs> this could be the only positive review of the entire video. Okay, thanks for watching, bye. <laughs> Ooh, call me back.